I am here to come and tell the truth of what's going on in so-called Canada, where mega dams are flooding our indigenous lands, and they're bullying us to submit their progress. In our lands, they're being flooded. Our people are poor. Our animals are dying. Our rivers are dying. That is one form of genocide, a cultural genocide, where we have to look within their roles. This is the message we bring to the United States, of the so-called United States. This is our country, and we have to keep believing that this is our country. It will always be our country for the rest of our lives. Our children, their grandchildren, and their grandchildren will always know this is our country. And we need to tell the world that this is our country. We always tell the truth. We are indigenous people. We are indigenous to this land. And this is indigenous land. This is our country. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hi, my name is Rita Munoz. I'm from Pimichigamag. Uh, I'm from Pimichigamag. And uh, a, a, a community in Cross Lake, Manitoba, Northern Manitoba, in Canada. We've been, uh, our lives have been turned upside down by hydro developments. And they come in the corporations who destroy our lives turn the river system upside down, reverse, reverse the river system, and like I said, has um, taken our culture away in that in that manner. Our economy is gone and so, so is uh, the water and the uh, land are destroyed by this uh, hydro development. So we're here in Plymouth um, in solidarity, so we're coming in solidarity with the people, with the indigenous people of the United States and of Canada, like in solidarity because we live in Turtle Island. Mm -hmm. say, solidarity. Uh -huh. My name is Amy Norman. I'm an Inuk woman born and raised in Happy Valley Goose Bay, Labrador, on the northeastern part of so-called Canada. I, um, I had the great privilege to speak here two years ago to talk to you about what's happening in my territory. Because I live downstream from a, from a mega dam, and it's destroying our lands, it's destroying our waters, and it's disconnecting us from our culture. Unfortunately, two years later, nothing has changed. So we're here, part of the North American Megadams Resistance Alliance, to spread the word about what really happens in the shadows of these dams. You know, they tend, these companies greenwash them and they tell you that they're carbon free or they're great, you know, great source of clean energy, but that is not true. The uh, carbon output is just as bad as coal. They're, they destroy entire ecosystems. They're poisoning our waters with methyl mercury. You know, as Inuit, we depend on the food that we get from water. We, you know, eat fish and seal. We're seal people, that's so important to us. I have a seal skin pin on right here. And because of these mega dams emitting methyl mercury and contaminating our food webs, we can't eat the seal anymore. We can't hunt and fish like we used to. It's disconnecting us from who we are, and that's cultural genocide. We're here to spread the word about that, what happens with these mega dams, and to really, you know, speak out about the connection because 
this hydropower, your state of Massachusetts is trying to import our power from our rivers into your homes. That makes your state, your governor, anyone here, that makes you complicit in the genocide of our people. We'd love to chat with you more about this. We've been speaking all over Massachusetts, New York, Maine, New Hampshire, because it's not just the one in my backyard. It's not just the ones in their backyard. It's all over North America. It's all over South America. It's all over the world. These mega dams disproportionately impact indigenous peoples all over. And we're here to tell you the truth about that. Thank you. Uh -huh. Hi, my name is Carlton Richards. I come from um, Manitoba, Canada, Cross Lake. I am uh, one of the very few youth that still speak our native language. I am here to represent every youth from all four directions. Please <clears throat> listen. Um, I come from a reserve where we live right next door to a hydro dam. I have witnessed islands disappear, lands disappear. I have witnessed our waters get really, really dirty. Our, our children cannot swim in our waters. We cannot drink our waters. And you know what? We are one people. We live on one land and that's Turtle Island. Right here. Four directions, we are all here as one people. I am the proof of a uh, general genocide that's going on in our in our in our reserve. I um I'm supposed to have long hair. As you can see, I don't. I um we are here to speak the truth about what's really going on in our reserve. Our waters are not safe. The waters fluctuate so much that it is not safe to hunt, trap, and fish. I risk my life every day to go out there and practice my tradition and my culture. I have traveled 2,200 miles from the north to come here and talk to everybody here, my brothers and my sisters. Uh -huh. yeah. I myself have lost my uncles, my grandfathers on the waters that we come from. It is not right that these mega dams can just go and build them. It is not right where they stand. And that is why we are here today to stand against it. We are persisting against it. So that being said, my brothers and sisters, let's stand strong together. Thank you. Oh. Can everybody say Suke? Suke! <laughs> that means harder, louder. Okay, I am Loretta Mishlaik and I come from the Michigan Territory, Africa, Canada, Northern Manitoba. Today I wear a shirt. It says, Every Child Matters. And if you Google it, you'll probably find out what it means, what it's about. It's about the residential school system that murdered our people. They took them into schools trying to assimilate, civilize them. But it didn't work and it never will. It is the creator who put us here and it is he who will take us out, not any government. So, I hope you'll look into this because the last residential school in Canada closed in 1991. That wasn't too long ago. I come here as a language keeper and I guess a water warrior. Um, I want to tell you how uh, how related we are. And 
First, I will tell you what a prime minister, a past prime minister, who is actually the father of the current prime minister, his name was Pierre Elliott Trudeau, and he said of our people in Canada, in 1969, he said, if you no longer practice your culture, and don't and, if, and don't speak your language, then you have no right to demand Aboriginal rights from us. That's what he said of us. But we stand here today with a youth who still speaks his language. Yeah. And who practices his culture. He's a hunter, trapper, fisherman. And God, they make it hard to live. They make it hard. They make it hard to survive, to get the fish, to get the moose, the ducks, and the geese. But we're going to risk our lives. And we're going to keep going. Because we saw a dam that was decommissioned. A new English word I learned. It was decommissioned and it no longer exists. And 20 years later, the fish are coming back. And I'm telling Carlton, I'm telling him, you have to teach your children how to hunt, fish, trap, snare, gather. Because when that dam is gone 100 years from now, our dam has been in operation about 50 years. So in maybe 100 years, it'll be gone. What are we going to do then? What are we going to live off of? We have to keep teaching our children. We have to try. We have to try. I'm gonna, I, I think um, where, where language is concerned, where a lot of our ki kids, our children, they don't know how to hunt, trap, and fish. They can. There's no water. But we'll try. And uh, an elder in Alberta once told me, and I couldn't understand the, 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 the uh, Turtle Island where that we were all related, all indigenous peoples across this land. Now I do. He said, He said, You don't believe me, that's okay. He said, Listen to your language, he said. And he said, Your your relatives are are far. Your relatives are there. And he asked me, How do you say Big River in Cree? I said, Mr. Sipi. And he said, oh, okay, God, you know, most. He goes, how do you say Grand Rapids in Greek? I said, Mr. Bystick. He said, yes. Now, say that with the, with the river. I said, Mississippi. Our relatives are also in Mississippi. Wow. It's amazing how related we are. All over the world, not just here. And we are all related. Even to these, thank you to the white nations that are here. I Thank you. And to the organizers that put this event together, I thank you. I can't say it enough. Thank you.